everybody. This is Melissa, your Free Range Psychic. Today is January the 14th, 2024. And I, today I'm going to do an um, update on Trump's meltdown. <laughs> What's going on with him? But before I get into that, I want to let everybody know that I have published a book <laughs> um, on Amazon, A Bridge of Light, How to Pray to Angels by me. <laughs> Uh, so this was a book that was four years in the making and it really started with a question I asked my guides on prayer because I was confused about prayer and then this is what they told me about prayer and themselves and also I was able to ch uh, channel s the seven archangels or not the, there's lots of archangels but the seven Archangels that are mainly responsible, they told me, for uh, guardians or guardianship, I should say, of our seven chakras. That's Ezekiel, Ariel, uh, Gabriel, uh, Raphael, Michael, um, Uriel, and Hamil. And so there's also uh, ways to augment prayer in here. <laughs> counting breaths that they uh, uh, assign to different uh, uh, types of consciousness and each archangel has a specific counting breath. And then there's a prayer journal <laughs> at the end of it uh, that um, so you can write down your own prayers or your observations and yep. <laughs> This is a labor of love, I can tell you, and it's kind of a miracle that uh, it came to be. And it's now out on Amazon. So one thing, I just want to kind of, not apologize, but I'll maybe apologize. The price point of the actual paperback, I know it looks quite slim, but there's a, a lot of information here, and it, it, it's, I'll channel the majority of it anyway. So we won't get anywhere else. But if you think it's a little high because, you know, you're not getting a huge book or anything, uh, when you publish on Amazon, I self-published, you get like 60% of the royalty for the paperback and then uh, it's available on Kindle, which obviously I'll charge less for, and I get a, a royalty out of that. But the, the angels, my guardian angels, I, I kept on asking them about the price point and they gave me that price point and it will go a long way in uh, supporting me and my channel and there are other books coming down the pike that, uh, so that will make all that possible for me to keep on working and uh, doing my channel and I really appreciate uh, your support and the oh the cover the cover is by this wonderful artist uh, called Mara Friedman and she let she gave me permission to use this on my books. She's one of my most favorite artists. I have her prints everywhere, and she was so kind. It's called Oh So Happy. <laughs> so I thought it was really evocative of, of prayer, open-hearted prayer. Okay, <laughs> I'm so nervous about introducing that. I, I don't know why, but it's, it's a big deal for me. I'm really glad the book has come to be, and I'm just going to let the angels take care of it <laughs> from here on it. Okay, you guys. Um, oh, I'm going to be starting a Patreon too. I have Patreon, but all along when I, I, I started that Patreon, that was specifically for the book that was coming. <laughs> uh, um, and I don't know if at that time I thought it was necessarily a book, but it was going to be on prayer. It was ha having people share their experiences of prayer with me. And it, that's what it will be. And I'll let you know when that comes up. And the first video I do for pay, uh, that Patreon will be free for everybody when, when I do it. Okay, you guys. Uh, okay, let's get to Trump. <laughs> so I'm using the Gilded uh, Tarot by Cyril Marchetti for the reading. And we're having an Oracle card from the Sacred Destiny Oracle by the wonderful Denise Lynn. And the guides chose these cards and told me what, why they chose them. So the card, of course, that 
Trump gets, he's the orange devil or the orange Cheeto devil. <laughs> and he's just burning up in his own mode. I mean, you watch him, uh, if you ever watch any of his rallies, it's more and more intense, this manifestation of the devil, of him as the devil. You can see it it's just gets more and more. <laughs> and it's just burning up in his own anger, narcissistic rage. He doesn't, he never steps it back. Like the normal person would step it back a little bit, right? So that they could gain people's trust again and maybe then they would emerge. But he, he's sick, he's mentally ill, he's mental illness. So that is represented by the Five of Wands. So this isn't specifically people, uh, individual people attacking each other. This is his mental state. And basically, you know, narcissistic personality disorder, which thousands of psychologists and psychiatrists have, I don't, e I don't even think you'd need to kind of sit down with him and, you know, kind of do a proper assessment. Uh, he's, it's obvious. And so this is what's going on in his mind right now. It's just chaos. Every, and he's paranoid. Everybody's against him in his mind. And he's, he's got to fight everybody here. He didn't trust anybody. He's, he, even within his own circle, he's angry at everybody. And you see, he's eliciting rage, or they're eliciting rage from him for no reason. You know, so everybody has to walk on eggshells around him. It's just insanity, really, is what this card's representing. In the past, this is... Trump in self-preservation mode. Uh, I've, I've got to, you know, hide my money. I've got to uh, shield my resources. You can't take it from me. This, this is mine. And this, you know, also was the documents, right? He's just trying to gather as as much that nobody can touch. And he's he's terrified of losing because he has lost. He's lost what he's lost his. Uh, businesses right left and center right uh and, and there was there's always seems to be rulings against him there was a new york times uh, uh suit where he i think has to pay four hundred fifty thousand dollars because i th i believe he accused them of uh, defamation you know the i didn't care uh, the carol case uh yeah lo losing uh his businesses uh in new york and it's just on and on and on and on. And so he's he's trying to keep what he can. And that's what his main concern is always, always, always. Even to the detriment of his children or whatever. Underneath here is the Five of Swords. And this is the narcissist on attack. And th this is, as uh, I said with this card, the devil. He he can only attack he can't step it back he can't apologize he can't tone it down and this is also his army the mega army that he's playing to his base the people who call up and threaten judges like Chun, uh, chunkin and, and others you know um and he, it, it it's just He's, well, what he thinks is that he's galvanizing his army so he can really, you know, take over the presidency and, you know, be this Hitlerian dictator. But that, that's not going to be <laughs> a thing. This is not possible. But that's all he's got. All he's got. And in the future, he just doubles down on that King of Swords, being more and more outright uh, about asking his people, like the Proud Boys and the whatever, uh, what the turning point group, whatever uh, terrorist fascist, <laughs> domestic terror uh, or terrorist groups that he's got, you know, behind him. And of course, you know, there's always a kind of Russian floating around there because he's Putin's guy. Um, and he's going to call up for an call for an uprising. The clarifying card is the King of Swords. This card is representing Trump thinking he's above the law, that the law doesn't apply for him, and this is whole, his whole thing about immunity. He just, his own narcissism and, and also fear are, are 
informing him that, you know, this doesn't, this can't touch me because I, you know, I'm like a god. And the end result is death. So what my guides show me is just, it gets worse and worse and worse for him. You know how they say everything tr Trump touches dies? I believe that it, it's, it's just this deterioration, continual deterioration of support for him, of uh, uh, cases going against him, poor health, continued mental decline, and you can see he really is declining. And there's no, there's not, the only end is the end for him. There's no kind of regeneration coming for him. He, he's not going to win the presidency. But he's certainly going to be like a drama queen, right? <laughs> going out. I always have pictured Trump as, uh, uh, is it uh, Joe, the, the gorilla on, uh, at the very top of the uh, Empire State Building? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, like clinging on to Ivanka or something like, or, or maybe Alina Hop. <laughs> and he, and it's so much drama, but he's just got this uh, negative gorilla energy because gorillas are pretty amazing. And that that's kind of what we're going to see. That's scary to watch, yeah, but he's got nothing. You know, he's got nothing uh, left but to, you know, climb to the top of the Empire State Building. <laughs> <laughs> try to threaten America. <laughs> I'm gonna drop a uh, drop Ivanka. You, know, like, uh, you better you better do what I say. And that's kind of the t the tactics that the GOP are are taking now anyway. But those tactics are short term and they're not they're not working uh, except for delay. But the the other side of it is that they're just being. Uh, uh, are making themselves be more unpopular because more and more, pe more and more people, sorry, more and more people are just getting fed up. You know, they're just they're, they're sick of it. They're sick of the chaos. Okay, so that is my reading on uh, you know, Trump's meltdown, <laughs> his further meltdown, <laughs> and I'm going to now read the oracle card that the guides chose for us from the Sacred Destiny deck. And this is Blessings. Immense blessings are emerging into your life from those in spirit. Angels, guides, and spirit guardians are watching over you. Angelic intervention is available to you. Be open to the voice of the divine. Messages are all around you. You are protected, you are safe. Have faith that your path is guided. Watch for signs that spiritual beings are present. Profound healing energy is flowing into you in wonderful ways. Refreshing, replenishing energy is filling your life. Blessings. <laughs> Beautiful. And I do wish you many, many blessings. Oh, I'm available for personal readings. My information is below in the description box and at the end of the musical interlude that, is, of course, is coming up. Oh, my book, it ha I have a website for the book. It's simply abridgeoflight.com. And there's a link to the a uh, Amazon uh, uh, book books on that site. Uh, <laughs> so you guys, I love you. You know I love you. Uh, take care. I will be back next week. And uh, enjoy your day, evening, night, wherever, wherever you are, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>